Welcome with Mr. Tolly's class. Hey there, this is Ian, and I'm going to show you how you can use filters within PowerTeacher Pro to make navigating report cards simpler. I'm also doing this specifically for term one report cards. I believe that they're, these will also be the filters for term two, but I'll confirm that later. So again, these are term one report cards that we're doing in January and going home in February for K to eight. The first one we're gonna be looking at here is mathematics. So as you see, it says grade seven math. You won't see the names of the students as I block those off, but you will see all of these different columns. What I wanna do is make my life simpler by lowering the column count. I'm gonna click the gear here. I'm gonna click show filter. For term on report cards, I'm gonna click RPT, and then I'm going to do apply. When I do that, it went down to only three columns, which is great. So of the three columns, the first one here, if I hover over it, it'll say um, mathematics, but the one that ends in .m, which I'm highlighting, this is the mark, this is where you're gonna put in your mark. Over here, the next column, .flg, is the flag. So that's maybe you'll put it in there in the English language learner or they have an IEP. And then finally, the last one here, .c, is for comments. So this is where the comment is going to go. And I'm going to put that in there. So you're going to have marks, we have flag, and we have the comments. And the filter I use to, to highlight just those three is RPT. Now I'm going to go to kindergarten. So I'm going to switch over to a kindergarten class now. And here you see it's even way more crowded than the um, grade seven report card as you have the four frames all listed here. So for this, there's four different filters to use. I'm gonna use BC for belonging and contributing. And then I'm gonna click apply. That's gonna bring you to two columns. One is for the column, so comment, sorry, it says comment there. And the other one's for the flag. So there's four different filters to use for uh, kindergarten, and I'm going to provide a list of all of those in the, in the description to this video. Okay, well, that's all for me. I hope that's helpful, and good luck with PowerTeacher Pro.